If you like this video please click on the like button. Comment with the names of the movies you would like us to cover next. Click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified of our latest creations. We cover 100 movies from around the world every day. To advertise with our channel reach out to us. Our contact information is on our channel page. Now, let's move to the plot of this movie. Kathleen Kelly is in a relationship with Frank Navisky, a left-leaning newspaper writer for the New York Observer who is always in search of an opportunity to root for the underdog. While Frank is devoted to his typewriter, Kathleen prefers her laptop and logging into her AOL email account. Using the screen name, Shop Girl, she reads an email from, New York 152, the screen name of Joe Fox, whom she first met in an, OVER30S, chat room. As her voice narrates her reading of the email, she reveals the boundaries of the online relationship. No specifics, including no names, career or class information or family connections. She only knows he has a dog named Brinkley. Single quote. Joe belongs to the Fox family that runs Fox Books, a chain of mega bookstores. Kathleen runs the independent bookstore The Shop around the corner that she inherited from her mom. The two are shown passing each other on their respective ways to work revealing that they frequent the same neighborhoods on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. Joe arrives at work, overseeing the opening of a new Fox Books in New York City with the help of his best friend, branch manager Kevin, Kathleen and her three store assistants, George, Aunt Birdie, and Christina, open up her small shop that morning. Single quote. Following a day with his 11-year-old aunt Annabelle and 4-year-old half-brother Matthew, Joe enters Kathleen's store to let his younger relatives experience story time. Joe and Kathleen have a pleasant conversation that reveals Kathleen's fears about the Fox Books. Store opening around the corner. He omits his last name and makes an abrupt exit with the children. At a publishing party for New York book business people later that week, Joe and Kathleen meet again where Kathleen discovers Joe's true identity in the Fox family. She accuses him of deception and spying, while he responds by belittling her store. Quote, when, Shop Girl, and, New York 152, finally decide to meet, Joe discovers with whom he has been corresponding. At the table, he joins her without revealing his online identity, leading them to clash once more. When Kathleen writes him asking him why he didn't, T appear, adding that she had a terrible encounter with an awful person. Joe apologizes eloquently for standing her up, and tells her that whatever she said to the awful person she met was probably deserved. Single quote. Despite protests against Fox Books and publicity in support of the shop around the corner, sales continue to decline and Kathleen decides to close her store. Her employees move on, including George, who gets a job in the children's department at Fox Books and ensures the staff are knowledgeable. Kathleen and Frank amicably end their relationship when they realize they don't love each other. Despite being perfect for each other, Kathleen takes a break to figure out what she wants to do. And her conversations with New York 152 inspire her to start writing children's books. After becoming stuck in an elevator with his acerbic girlfriend Patricia and his doorman, who resolves to propose to his girlfriend if they're rescued, Joe ends his relationship and decides to pursue Kathleen. He brings her flowers to apologize for her store closing. And they begin building a friendship. With Joe still keeping his online identity a secret. Kathleen confides in Joe about her online romance. Quote. Eventually. New York 152 arranges a meeting between his online persona and shop girl. But right before she is to meet her online friend. 
Joe reveals to Kathleen how he feels, hoping she would choose him over New York 152 and forgive him despite their past animosity. Kathleen hints at feeling the same way but cannot bring herself to forego her feelings for New York 152, not realizing they are the same man. And the two part. Upon arriving at the meeting place, she hears Joe calling Brinkley and sees that New York 152 is, in fact, Joe Fox. Kathleen cries tears of joy and reveals that she hoped it would be him. Single quote.